Alright, good morning. This is for third grade ELA. Alright, this is um, called Mooncakes. Our reading goal for today is um, infer the relationships between characters as revealed in the illustrations. So we're going to be looking deep into the illustrations to infer the characters' relationships. Okay. So the Moon Festival is a very special time in China and for people who have a Chinese heritage. So let's look at the moon cakes on the cover of this book called Moon Cakes. It's by Loretta Cito. It is about a special celebration. Uh, the lunar calendar is based on changes of the moon in the night sky. The moon festival usually happens in September or early October, so around this time. On the calendar we use. What are you thinking as you look at the cover? So what are you thinking? So in what ways are holiday celebrations alike all over the world? Often there are special foods. Let's turn to page one. Tonight the moon shines like a polished pearl, found and fat, round and fat. It glows bigger and brighter than I have ever seen. So there's a full moon. How does it look to the girl? How does she describe it? It's a question. Tonight is a special night. Tonight I'm allowed to stay up late. Soon there will be mooncakes to eat, sweet and cherry, chewy. They are round like the moon. They make a circle for me and Mama and Baba. They make a circle for my family. Outside we light paper lanterns. I made one all by myself using my favorite colors. The lanterns and stars light up the sky. The moon makes everything shine like silver and water. In our backyard, we sit together in a chair. We watch small, dusty clouds brush the moon's face. The wind shakes the leaves. Hush, hush. Baba pulls the blanket close. So, um, on the next few pages, we are going to read some Chinese folk tales. A folk tale is a story that has been told aloud for many years before being written down. Often, folk tales explain something or teach a lesson in the first story. Mama and Baba tell me about Chang Yi, the woman who lives on the moon. Long ago, the world has ten suns in the sky. It becomes too hot and dry. The Jade Emperor asked his most skilled archer, Wu Yi, to help. Wu Yi aimed high and far. He shot down nine of the suns, and the, su and the world became safe again. As a reward, Wu Yi wanted the elixir of eternal life. But Hao Yi was not a good man. He was cruel and wanted to live forever so he, so that he could rule the people of China, since Hu Yi had saved the world from becoming a desert. The, the Jade Emperor had no choice but to grant Hu Yi his wish. So Hu Yi asked for an Exler. An Exler is a magical drink. Oi's wife, Cheng Yi, knew of her husband's unkind ways. She took the Exler from Hu Yi and ran away. We chased Chang Yi across the land over rivers, valleys, and mountains until the harvest moon rose high above them. Finally, when Hu Yi at her, at her back, Chang Yi drank the exler to escape and was lifted up to the moon, where she lives in the Jade Palace now and forever. So do you think this is a happy ending for Chang Yi? Do you think that was a happy ending for her? I, I took for Chang Yi. I look for Chang Yi in the Jade Palace on the moon, but I don't see them. Maybe they're on the other side. I say, Mama and Baba, smile and pull me close, so I will stay warm. Time for cake, mooncakes. Mama says we have many ones and medium ones, but we share a big one. It tastes better than when we eat it together. Mama and Baba, tell me about Wu Gan, the woodcutter. He also lives on the moon. So. Um, why do you think the mooncake tastes better when they eat it together? Why do you think that? Alright, so this is another um, folk tale. Long ago, a selfish woodcutter, Wu Gong, wished to learn the secret of eternal life. He came upon an old hermit who promised to teach him. In return, Wu Gong could have, would have to do exactly as the hermit said. Eager to live forever, Wu Gong agreed. That's the woodcutter. 
But Wu Gong was a lazy man. Each time the hermit asked Wu Gong to complete a task, Wu Gong would grow bored or tired and take a nap. Angry, the hermit revealed his true identity, the Jade Emperor. Wu Gong was scared. He begged for one last chance. The emperor took Wu Gong to the Jade's palace, garden to, on the moon. There stood a large kasa tree. To live forever, Wu Gong would have to chop it down. Their emperor warned Wu Gong that if he stopped working, even for a moment, he would wither away and die. Thanks. Wu Gong laughed at this simple job. He was a woodcutter after all, but with each blow of his axe, the tree healed itself as though it had never been struck. Wu Gong chopped and chopped, but the tree would not fall. To this day, Wu Gong is on the moon, still chopping and filling the air with the scent of cinnamon from the freshly cut kasa tree. I look for Wu Gong and the tree on this moon, but I don't see them. I think I smell cinnamon, I say. Mama and Baba smile, and Mama tweaks my, twicks my nose. Um, look at the illustration. How does Mama feel about the girl? How does she feel about her? And how can you tell? Time for tea, Baba says. He pours hot, steaming tea for us to drink. Mooncakes and tea are better than mooncakes alone. Mama and Baba tell me about Jade, Jade Rabbit. Jade Rabbit lives on the moon, too. So this is another folk, folk tale. Long ago, three moon magicians wanted to test the goodness of the animals on Earth. The magicians turned themselves into three poor old men and pretended to beg for food. When they asked Fox, he gave them red berries from his den. When they asked Monkey, she gave them guavas pulled down from her tree. But when the moon magicians asked Rabbit, he had nothing to give. Instead, Rabbit offered himself to the, himself to the magicians for, for them to eat. That's strange. The three moon magicians were so amazed by Rabbit's kindness, they brought him back, brought him back to the moon to live with them. Rabbit became known as Jade Rabbit, and he still lives on the moon and brings food to those on Earth who need it. I look for Jade Rabbit on the moon, but I don't see him. Does Jade Rabbit bring us mooncakes and tea too? I asked, yawning. Mama and Baba smile and press their cheeks against mine. Eating mooncakes and lighting paper lanterns, watching the round pearl moon and wink, winking stars, looking for Chang Yi, Wu Gong, and Jade Rabbit. This is my moon festival. I can see Mama and Baba and me in the circle of the moon. It's late. Mama and Baba says, say it's time to sleep. They hug me close. I blow out my lantern and the smoke curls up to the sky. Thank you, I say to the moon before I go inside. Why do you think the girl says thank you to the moon? Why does she do that? From my bedroom window, the moon watches over me. In my bed, I close my eyes and dream. So this is the author's note. The Chinese moon festival falls on the 15th day of the 8th month of the lunar calendar. Traditionally, it is a time for families to come together and give thanks for the harvest and family unity. Even relatives who are unable to be with their families can look up at the dark sky and know that their loved ones are watching the same moon. Okay. The end. Uh, once you have completed your um, discussion questions, you may submit them.